Hello everyone and welcome to the Celebration Assembly for the week beginning the 8th of February. First of all, we'd like to say happy birthday to all the children who have had a birthday this week. I know it probably hasn't been the same being as we're in a lockdown, but I hope you had a lovely day anyway. So happy birthday to George and Owls, Johnny and Squirrels, Ellie and Badgers, Declan and Hedgehogs, Olivia and Owls, James and Owls, Amelia and Rabbits and Rosie and Foxes. Happy birthday. We'd also like to say happy birthday for all the children who have a birthday next week in half term. So that's Dexter and Foxes, Lacey and Squirrels and Kayla and Owls. Happy birthday. Next we're going to have a look at our learner of the week. So all the teachers have been having a look through all the work that the children have done in school and online and have chosen a learner of the week. So let's have a look at who those children are. Mrs Ashton and the team in Rabbits have picked Flory this week. Flory is our learner of the week in Rabbits. We are so proud of her and how confident she is becoming with her reading and writing and her positive can-do attitude. She has also shown some imaginative story ideas during Mental Health Week. Flory enjoyed listening to Roald Dahl stories, danced in the rain, made freak kebabs, painted to music and went bug hunting. Well done, Flory. Let's have a look at what she's been up to. Here's Flory reading her Roald Dahl book, Fantastic Mr Fox. Flory, that is one of my favourites too. And there she is dancing in the rain. She looks like she's having a great time there. And then a lovely piece of phonics work that she has completed as well. Well done, Flory. So our learner in the week in Hedgehogs has been selected by Miss Anstey and her team, and it's George. George was chosen to be Hedgehog's learner of the week for the magnificent work he completed during Children's Mental Health Week. George embraced a lot of the activities set and encouraged his family to get involved too. He created a fantastic painting in response to music where he used different shapes and colours to indicate when the tempo changed. He also enjoyed talking about what he could hear with his mum. Also, George expressed his feelings using different colours, took some time out and joined in with the health and fitness PE lesson. We have been really proud of George and the work he has completed this half term. Well done. You are blowing our socks off. So let's have a look what he's been up to. So here's George and there's a lovely picture of, a, of his feelings that he's drawn and labelled around the outside. There's also some paintings there in response to the music he's heard. And there you can see him enjoying joining in with that PE lesson. Well done, George. OK, for Squirrels Learner of the Week, that's been chosen by Mrs Britt and Mrs Ford and the team in Squirrels. Uh, Millie is Squirrels Learner of the Week. During Children's Mental Health Week, Millie produced some very thoughtful work. She was courageous in explaining how she is feeling and produced a lovely and reflective picture of herself labelled with how she is feeling inside. We really liked how honest Millie was. During our Zoom meeting, she dressed to impress by wearing yellow. She explained to the class that this is her nervous colour. When we had our virtual circle time on Zoom, Millie told us about what she would like to be when she's older and showed great consideration for others. Millie told us that be an, an artist and a hairdresser because I would like to make money to give to the poor and children in need. Well done, Millie. So let's have a look at what Millie's been up to. So here she is, dressed in her yellow outfit for the Zoom meeting. I love that outfit, Millie, particularly the bow. It's beautiful. And then we can also see that she has completed uh, a form for her thoughts and feelings ready for her Zoom meeting so she could join in with the children in school and online. And then there's her beautiful picture labelled with all her feelings. Well done, Millie. Blackbirds Learner of the Week has been selected by Miss Sewell and her team. Uh, this week, our Blackbirds Learner of the Week is Tommy. Tommy created an amazing poster for Mental Health Week. He thought carefully about the key points of the week and highlighted how it's good to be, stay focused. 
stay kind and stay positive and talk to each other and always chase the rainbow. Well done, Tommy. So let's have a look at what Tommy's been up to. And there's his poster. Tommy, you've spent an awful long time on that. Beautiful designs. And I like the way that you've created beautiful pictures to go around your ideas. Well done, Tommy. Fox's Learner of the Week has been chosen by Mrs Popham and her team, and it's Caden. So this week, Mrs O'Toole and I would like to give Learner of the Week to Caden. It was so wonderful to see him engaging in such wonderful activities for Mental Health Week. Caden recognises the importance of doing things that are important to him, that make him happy, and that give him the opportunity to escape from his usual day of home learning. Well done, Caden. So let's have a look at what Caden's been up to. And there are some of the things he's been doing that he thinks are important and making him happy. And as you can see, he's very good at model making. The one at the bottom, Caden, is very, very tall. He's also been out for a walk. Glad to see you wrapped up warm, Caden. It's been very, very cold this week. And then one of his favourite things is also one of my favourite things, and that's ice cream. I'm just wondering, did you make it, Caden, or did you just eat it? It looks like you've had a great time. Well done. OK, on to Badgers. So Badgers Learner of the Week has been chosen by Miss McBride and her team. And it's Dexter. Dexter is Learner of the Week for always completing his home learning tasks. Dexter has expressed himself through his art, baking and science experiments this week. During our Zoom call, Dexter is always really confident and great at explaining what he's doing. Well done, Dexter. Keep up the brilliant work. So let's have a look what Dexter's been up to. So here he is. And there's his artwork in the top right hand corner. Now, I've seen that going on in school and online. And I've seen some amazing pieces of artwork. And this is one of them, Dexter. That's great. Uh, there's also some baking going on and some science experiments. You look very, very busy and your baking looks incredible. Well done, Dexter. Okay, on to Owls. Owls Learner of the Week has been selected by Miss Pierce and her team. And it's Joe. Well done, Joe. So Joe Watson's in year six. Learner of the Week for all his fantastic effort for Mental Health Week. He took part in all the activities in class, making a delicious pizza and working collaboratively with his partner. Joining in a dance and learning it even though he wasn't too sure about this activity at first. Making an amazing exploding papier-mâché volcano and finally working on his fantastic t-shirt in his own time. I particularly liked the fact that he decided to design it first, just how we have learnt to do in previous art lessons. Fantastic effort, Joe. Well done. So let's have a little look at the t-shirt. Oh, Joe, that's amazing. Very colourful. And like your brother, the Watsons have had a very good week this week, haven't they? Uh, it, you've put a lot of effort into that. And I did already know, but I can see at the bottom that football is what makes you happy. Well done, Joe. So well done to all the learners, not just the learners of the week, for the hard work that's been going on. We're all very, very proud of you. And last but not least, what we would like to say is have a lovely, lovely half term and make sure you have a well-deserved break. We'll see you after the holiday. Bye.